Porsche is celebrating the 60th anniversary of the 911. The iconic sports car has been an aspirational dream machine for people across the globe, and it's only getting better as it ages. To commemorate this milestone, Porsche has created a limited edition 911 that blends the best parts of its hardcore models with the more grand touring versions, and that model is this, the Porsche 911 ST. The hardest of the hardcore is the current Porsche 911 GT3 RS. At its core, the Fury arrives via the naturally aspirated 4-liter flat 6 engine. Porsche tunes it up to 518 horsepower and lets it run on up to an ear-searing 9,000 RPM redline. The GT3 RS is a track weapon. You have active aero, including a massive rear spoiler hung from swan neck mounts. You can adjust the compression and rebound of the suspension on the fly. There's a drag reduction system, which is tech borrowed from Formula One. And when set to max attack, you have as much as 1,896 pounds of downforce, helping you stick through a corner. On the other end of the high power Porsche 911 Spectrum sits the GT3 Touring. This is almost a wolf in sheep's clothing sort of family member, as it ditches the look at me wings for the simple classic 911 shape. Still, it's wider and more powerful than your average 911, and thus it's a glorious machine for long stretches behind the wheel. With the 911 ST, Porsche is creating a vehicle that meets the two in the middle. You get the Mad Mill from the GT3 RS, but you get the body from the GT3 Touring. Even better, you also get the manual gearbox from that GT3 Touring, which is one of the best manual gearboxes on the planet. This Porsche 911 ST also drops plenty of weight too. There's a single mass flywheel which makes for a rev happy engine. The clutch is lighter. The hood, roof, front fenders, and the doors are built using carbon fiber reinforced plastic. And then Porsche slaps on a set of magnesium wheels to further drop the curb weight. That's not all. Porsche gives this car a lighter battery, lightweight glass, and then tosses on the lighter Porsche ceramic brake system. When you add it all up, this 911 ST sits 70 pounds lighter than the GT3 Touring. And the curb weight is just 3,056 pounds, which is almost an amazing figure in today's world of very heavy vehicles. I've always preferred the wingless GT3. It's subtly cool compared to the more in-your-face versions of the car. Both are awesome, but the Touring is more my cup of tea. To have a 911 that offers that style, but with the monster power delivery of the GT3 RS, is just an amazing hot rod of a car that can slip through traffic relatively unnoticed. Unless, of course, you opt for the Heritage Design Package, then you get the shore blue metallic paintwork, a meatball on the side with 63 popped in the center, and Ceramica for the wheel color. That number is a nod to the 60th anniversary celebration of it all, of course, as is the amount of cars that Porsche will produce. Just 1,963 examples of the 911 ST are to be made, and all of them are colossally expensive. The starting price? $291,650. That puts it $50,000 over the starting price of a GT3 RS, which is crazy. Plus, I built one with the Porsche configurator just to daydream for a minute, and, well, yeah, it can add up quickly when you start choosing some options. But it's still not crazy enough to deter the moneyed 911 faithful. This thing is probably already sold out.